Hey guys, Frightener22 here, back with part three of my Hot Topics number one, the Nick Rewind uh, collection. So, uh, this may be the final part. If not, screw it. We're going to go into four parts on this video, because as you can see, I'm pretty passionate, and I'm really into these classic Nick shows. So, let's switch shifts for a second. Let's switch shifts and get off uh, the fat fucking high horse that Viacom is, and because I think I've yelled at them enough for the moment. So, let's switch shifts to... A bunch of other shows, Nickelodeon shows, that have actually been released by companies that, you know, may seem like there is an interest in them. And let it be known that I feel like a lot of uh, consumers that grew up on these classic Nick shows that I'm about to show may not even know that most of these are even available. So, uh, you know, let's get right into those. Now... Another classic Nick show that, you know, I feel like I've had them on DVD for so long and I've almost taken it for granted that they got released, but I really, really am happy that, like, these did get released because these, this is a cartoon that was so near and dear to my heart and as cliche as it sounds, they just don't make cartoons like this anymore and I'm talking about the Ren and Stimpy show. Now, this was uh, actually Paramount released them, and I think, you know, Paramount and uh, Nickelodeon um, released the Nick Rewind collections of Pete, and Pete and Clarissa Explains It All, but I think um, the explanation behind this is because I think um, John Kay, the creator of this show, bought the rights back from Ren and Stimpy uh, from Nickelodeon. I think that's why uh, it can be, I think it's, uh, I think that's the explanation as to why he went along and did uh, his more adult-themed Run and Stimpy show on Spike TV that was uh, short-lived. So I think that's the explanation as to why um, this show in particular got released in its entirety. But as you can see, I mean, they were uncut. Yes, I know. I think that there has been some gripe over the years that uh, many fans that know uh, pinch more about these, uh, the, the true uncut episodes have complained that these are not truly uncut. And yeah, as much as that can be a real shit sucker to hear, if I don't really remember them and I've never seen the actual uncut episodes, I really don't feel like I'm missing much, you know? So, whatever. But, you know, like I said, these got released, and it's just really great to have every single episode of, you know, the entire run of this classic Nick show available, especially for this being, you know, by today's standards, one of the more cruder and uh, anarchic, um, you know, Nick shows, it's just, you know, it really is a gem to have these uh, out on DVD the entire run, so it's really fantastic to see those. And um, moving on, another show that has been wildly, wildly requested for Nickelodeon release is actually already released, but you can only buy them in Canada. Canada runs on Region 1, which is the same... Um, DVD uh, region code that uh, U.S. Um, DVD players run on. So if you buy a DVD in Canada, you can certainly watch it on your American DVD player mm -hmm. and vice versa. So I think that what people don't know is that Are You Afraid of the Dark? All seven seasons are actually out on DVD. So I actually... It's um it's a pain in the ass because I think you know you'd either have to go through Amazon uh, dot you know CA uh, you know can uh, Amazon's Canada um, wing to try and find these but when I did my hunting I couldn't find them I, I mean I buy you know as I've stated uh, in previous videos I buy brand new copies of all my sh of all my uh, DVDs and TV shows so um, I don't you know I didn't buy these through uh through Amazon.ca, so I had to do some hunting, but once I knew that these were all, every single season, I, I came into it knowing that every season was out, so that made me feel really good, so I, uh, I just, you know, chalked up the money and bought all seven seasons in one shot, but I have to say, it, it was the most worthy investment that I've done in such a while, because I grew up loving this show, absolutely loving it, and it's really a shame that, like, you know, a show like this with its entire run out can't even be made available in, uh, you know, American stores. But I think the explanation for that is because, um, while, you know, everybody, you know, everybody just, um, just, you know, throws this into the Nickelodeon pile of shows. I mean, why wouldn't you? It was broadcasted on Nickelodeon, but it was actually, uh, Canadian 
um, own a Canadian based owned show. So it was shot and uh, filmed, you know, in Canada. So therefore Canada owned it. So I think uh, the company who, uh, whoever created it uh, still held on to the rights, which is why uh, it's only been made available through Canada. But I would say either way, whatever you have to do to find these, get them because, you know, I've been watching them ever since I got them and it is just really good to open these up and, you know, walk down memory lane. It's just a real, it's a real shit sucker. You can't walk into like a Best Buy or a Walmart and find those. Now, moving on, another show that I really feel that people have never known was released on DVD was the first season of The Secret World of Alex Mack. Yeah, I feel like I'm surprising a lot of people by holding this one up because this got released, I think it would have to be in uh, 2007, and uh, Genius Products released this, and Genius Products... Um, Harvey and Bob Weinstein actually, I believe, own uh, roughly 70% of the shares in Genius Products. And this came out in 2007. And this really was a hassle to find. I mean, Best Buys didn't have it. Walmarts didn't have it. I actually uh, called uh, Barnes & Noble, and they had told me they're getting one copy in. And when this came out, this is the first season. And, um, you know, I think, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many episodes are on it, but I believe it's a, yeah, it's a two-disc it's a two disc set, as you can see. And um, yeah, this came out and it was actually really cheap. I believe I only paid like $15 for it. So, um, you know, that was 2007. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, no other f uh, future seasons of this show have ever been released out on DVD, which is, uh, you know, fucking typical. Because again, uh, it's not Nickelodeon's fault, but, you know, again, the fault of another company responsible for releasing this show. No fucking promotion and, uh, you know, nothing for uh, to let fans know that this really was getting released. So if you walk into a Barnes & Noble or anything and you're flipping through, uh, you know, the DVDs and find this, pick it up because I really don't feel like this is going to be around forever until the company um, that released this um, gets somewhat smart and realizes their product. So... You know, it's just, it's really a pain in the ass to, you know, just have such a, you know, a love and a dedication to all these shows growing up on, and all you truly want is to see all these shows released in their entirety, you know, and be made easily available to all the people that grew up on it. I mean, I just really think that Nickelodeon just doesn't understand their market, and they're too concerned with computer-generated boy geniuses and, you know, um, crappy live-action uh, comedy, you know, teeny teeny bopper uh, television shows, which is a shame because, you know, Nickelodeon used to be, you know, a really, they are still a very creative, a really creative, um, you know, company, and I don't really, you know, hate them for what they do now because they are making money and they're connecting with a new, um, you know, a new age of kids, which is fine, but it's just my gripe is really with, you know, the line that was responsible for these DVDs, because I have to say, I'm a, I'm a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants. The team that actually created SpongeBob and a lot of the key players are the same team from Rocco's Modern Life. And once, when you know that, you actually begin to see, you know, the spirit that Rocco had in SpongeBob these days. So I think SpongeBob is like, you know, is like the, you know, the the fiery torch that is really, you know, leading Nickelodeon nowadays. So, you know, it's just, it, my gripe is just really with the, you know, the DVD line, whoever's running the DVD line over at Nickelodeon. I just really wish they would get smart and understand that you need to market these things or, you know, like I had, you know, like I had suggested before, if not sell them exclusively, real DVDs and real boxes, sell them exclusively through your short, through your store and, you know, you know, maybe even up the price a tad, but sell them in limited quantities, you know, I think it's a win-win situation for everybody, if you don't, if you don't make all the money you were hoping for, you certainly didn't lose a lot either, because, uh, you know, it's, you're only printing, what, 1500 like I had said, so, needless to say, the future of, uh, the Nick Rewind collection seems a little dim and dark at this period in time, but with the hope, um, of these, of these, uh, you know, numerous parts of this hot topic segment is that I hope that it encourages more fans of these shows to really write to Nickelodeon and Viacom to get their voices heard to get these releases, um, you know, these releases put out on, on official DVDs. And uh, to leave you guys with a little uh, tidbit of information, like I had mentioned previously about Hey Dude, the top 10 unreleased TV shows out on DVD 
not out on DVD, according to TV shows on DVD.com. Number four is actually Salute Your Shorts, and number nine is Hey Dude. So that just goes to show you the power of these short-lived but much-beloved Nickelodeon classic shows. So, with all that said, thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really hope that, uh, you know, you guys enjoyed these videos. And like I said, you know, write to Nickelodeon, write to Viacom, see if uh, your voices will get heard, and we can only hope for the best and hope that our beloved Nickelodeon shows sees the light of day. Thanks again, guys.